Hello folks, my name is John Robertson. It is my absolute bloody privilege uh, to present the inaugural Starburst Hero Award for Literature and the annual Starburst Brave New Words Award. However, people of Octacon, uh, there's one thing I would like to say before we start. What an absolute drag it is that we can't all be together. I This year has been utterly appalling, and though if you are a fan of dystopian fiction, I think you can agree, well, we've always dreamt of living through at least one apocalypse, so... Ah, I mean, if anything, this is the LARP we've always dreamed of. Um, but I, I desperately wish we could all be together uh, to the point that I wish the pandemic had been pushed back so it was just starting today because I say this from the bottom of my heart, I cannot imagine a place more fun to be locked down in than an Irish science fiction convention. So hopefully we get through this dreadful year and then next year, let's have a proper octagon, let's all get together and let's have some good bloody mischief. And now, folks, the awards. Now, folks, I do crave um, your patience on this. Uh, one, I have uh, discovered that the homemade auto cue that I've created, uh, I cannot read, so the glasses are going on. And two, the glasses are not powerful enough for me to read them from where I was. So, here we go, folks. Uh, it is my pleasure now to introduce the winners of the annual Starburst Brave New Words Award and the inaugural Starburst Hero Award for Literature. The Starburst Hero Award is given for outstanding contributions to genre literature and specifically to people whose work actively helps change and improve the shape of the industry. A good commissioning editor can make careers, change lives and introduce the world to talent and ideas that simply need to be read by as many people as possible. And over the course of their career, tonight's winner has championed and guided an astonishing amount of brilliant, inspiring work. So wherever you are, folks, uh, please charge your glass, clap your hands, or get me to social media to offer your congratulations. Starburst Magazine is delighted to present the first ever Starburst Hero Award for Literature to the senior commissioning editor at Orbit Books, Jenny Hill. Hi, I'm Jenny Hill and I'm the inaugural winner of the Starburst Hero for Literature Award. I had two feelings on being told this. One, I was honoured, honoured and grateful that anyone would recommend me for this. The other was gigantic, crushing imposter syndrome. Who am I to win this? Editors don't win awards, blah blah blah. However, this award is shaped like a shield. And I promise to use this shield to fight that, both my imposter syndrome, that of my peers, and that of every exceptionally talented author who doesn't believe that they have the skills, the background, or even the right to tell the stories that we all want to hear them tell. I'd like to thank everyone who nominated me for this award. I'd like to thank Ed Fortune for running these awards year after year and bringing so much joy to the science fiction and fantasy community. Thank you to the Orbit team, my colleagues, Tim, Anna, Joanna, James, Emily, Maddie, Nadia, and especially Nazia for the cheerleading and for announcing that I'd won this award live on Teams during an Orbit marketing meeting. That wasn't embarrassing at all. Thank you, Nazia. <laughs> um, thank you finally to all my brilliant authors for writing such wonderful books. Literally none of this would be possible without you. Thank you guys and have a great Octacon. See you. And now folks, it's my honor to present the annual Brave New Words Award. And this year's winner embodies the spirit of the accolade having edited what the judges felt was an astonishing collection that did exactly the thing sci-fi can do so well. It challenged its readers and opened them up to new perspectives and concepts. The 2020 Starburst Brave New Words Award goes to Nissy Shaw for her work editing New Sons, original speculative fiction by people of colour. I am so, so grateful to receive the Starburst Magazine's Brave New Words Award for editing the anthology New Sons, original speculative fiction by people of color. Thank you to the judges and to everyone who helped make the award a paradigm shifting reality. Thank you to all those who went before me down this road, among them Octavia E. Butler and Cherie Renee Thomas, Storytellers and story harvesters, supreme. And thank you also to the many who made New Sons happen. My editors, Jonathan Oliver and David Moore, and the amazing 
staff of Solaris Books. The book's brilliant cover artist, Yoshi Yoshitani, and of course the contributors who allowed me to curate their beautiful, wonderful, powerful, thrilling, wild stories. They all truly deserve this award and I am elated to be able to share it with them. Again, and I really can't say this enough, thank you. Thank you.